Samsung appears to be quietly preparing a major shift with the upcoming Galaxy S26 series. For several years, the company has relied heavily on Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips for its flagship phones, largely because Exynos processors struggled with performance, efficiency, and heat management. Now, new analysis suggests Samsung is not only reviving Exynos but slowly planning a future where it depends less on Snapdragon. Industry analyst Samir Kazaka reports that around 25% of Galaxy S26 models could be powered by the new Exynos 2600 chip. While this may sound like a small share, the technology behind the chip suggests something far more significant is happening behind the scenes. The Exynos 2600 is expected to be the world's first smartphone processor built on a 2 nanometer manufacturing process. Smaller manufacturing nodes typically bring better performance and improved power efficiency, giving Samsung a potential advantage in chip design. In addition, the GPU inside the Exynos 2600 is based on AMD's RDNA 4 architecture, marking another industry first for mobile processors. This could result in major improvements in gaming and graphics-heavy tasks. Samsung is also introducing a new thermal solution called Heat Path Block or HPB. This feature is designed to control how heat moves away from sensitive areas of the chip. Overheating and throttling were major weaknesses of previous Exynos processors, so this addition shows Samsung is directly addressing its past mistakes. Better heat control means more stable performance during demanding tasks. These upgrades suggest Exynos is no longer a side project. According to Kazaka, it would not make sense for Samsung to invest heavily in advanced manufacturing AMD GPU partnerships and new thermal technologies if Exynos were meant to remain a minor option. Instead, this points to a long-term strategy where Exynos plays a much bigger role in future Galaxy S devices. Looking ahead, reports suggest Samsung is already working on an Exynos 2800 chip for 2027. This processor could feature a fully in-house GPU, reducing reliance on AMD. If successful, this would give Samsung even greater control over its hardware, similar to how Apple designs its own chips for iPhones. Cost is another major factor. Qualcomm has raised the price of its flagship Snapdragon chips every year since the Snapdragon 8 Gen series began. These increases add pressure to smartphone makers at a time when displays, cameras, batteries, and memory are also becoming more expensive. Samsung has reportedly not finalized Galaxy S26 pricing yet, despite an expected February launch. This uncertainty highlights how challenging pricing decisions have become. By increasing the use of in-house Exynos chips, Samsung could reduce long-term costs and gain more flexibility in pricing its flagship phones. For now, Snapdragon remains dominant. Around 75% of Galaxy S26 units are expected to use the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, reflecting Qualcomm's strong reputation for performance and efficiency. Many users still prefer Snapdragon models due to past disappointments with Exynos. However, Samsung clearly wants to close this gap. If the Exynos 2600 delivers competitive performance, efficiency, and heat control, Samsung could gradually increase its share in future models. This would not only reduce costs but also strengthen Samsung's independence. The year 2026 will be critical. If Exynos 2600 succeeds, Samsung may confidently expand Exynos usage. If it fails, the company may be forced to rely on Snapdragon even longer. Consumer trust will also matter. Many users remain cautious about Exynos, but strong real-world performance or lower prices could change perceptions. Ultimately, the Galaxy S26 could mark the beginning of Exynos' return, or another missed opportunity.